A lot of the jewelry that I wear are fan gifts because they're so awesome and they give me great presents. I'm a songwriter. Everything affects me. I'm always worried about everything. Like spiders. I've found that men I've dated who are in the same business can be really competitive. I've found a great group of girlfriends in the same business who aren't competitive, but few times guys have started comparing careers and it has been challenging. I try to read as much as I can. I try to read an informative article every day. I try to stay read up on our world issues. I'm never in the same place for more than, like, three days at a time. Things can change from one minute to the next. I have an obsession with knowing the answers to things. When I don't know what happened, it just bothers me, gets under my skin, and I need to write about it. I've always been really, really aware of my insecurities, really, really aware. I never developed that thick skin that keeps you from letting things get to you. When I listen to a song, I don't say, oh my gosh, that vocal line she sang was the best thing I ever heard. I'm thinking, that lyric just moves me. That lyric just said what I feel better than I could say it myself. I have to practice to be good at guitar. I have to write 100 songs before you write the first good one. I remember straightening my hair because I wanted to be like everybody else, and now the fact that anybody would emulate what I do? It's just funny. My head's never really quiet. The only time I can get it to turn off is if I watch a CSI or a Law and Order where I have to follow the crime. If I can't turn my head off during that, I know I've really got a problem. My absolute favorite meal in Nashville is sweet potato pancakes at Pancake Pantry. On De Grey's Anatomy, I wouldn't care what I was playing. I would play a corpse, cause I love it that much. It is deep true love, and it will never die. I've been careful in love. I've been careless in love. And I've had adventures I wouldn't trade for anything. I haven't had that one great love, which is good. I don't want that to be in the past. I want it to be in the future. Music is my shining light, my favorite thing in the world. T get me to stop doing it for one second would be difficult. I believe when it comes to love, there's something intangible about who we are attracted to, and I don't think I have a pattern. For me, genres are a way for people to easily categorize music. But it doesn't have to define you. It doesn't have to limit you. I leave the genre labeling to other people. 
I really do. If I were to think too hard about it, that would stifle you creatively. If you think too hard about who other people want you to be as an artist, it stops you from being who you want to be as an artist. When I'm in my 50s, I kind of think I'll want to be in a garden 